The story starts with for friends. They call themselves the SSG group, specialist gang because all their names start with the letter S. They all study at Lawrence College in Murray. Despite receiving warnings from the headmaster of the college, the SSG still bunk college. Saad belongs to a rich family. He is a handsome and intelligent boy. He loves his pet and calls him Zorro. Saad's father is Brigadier who serves in the army. His mother and sister who is an aspiring artist. Dawa is a young, beautiful and optimist girl. She comes from Rolpindi and is seen visiting her cousins, Aisha and Rahil in Murray. Rahil is offensive and is overprotective of Dawa. SSG plan to bunk hostel once again at night time. This time, they accidentally ran into Dower and her cousins. Saad immediately recognizes Dower and became a statue in front of her. Friends are interested to know Saad's love story. He has seen Dower twice before and has a crush on her, but he didn't have the courage to tell her about his feelings. Next day, friends encouraged Saad to go after Dower and get to know her name since he didn't. As Shahzain and Shariah begin to introduce themselves to Dawa and tell her about Saad, Rahil pushes Saad, thinking he was harassing Dawa and a physical fight follows. The police arrive and take Saad and Rahil into custody, while other friends flee from the spot. Police ask them about their parents so that they can call and inform them about their activities. Saad's father was disappointed as he had high hopes for Saad. Saad is disheartened and he realized his mistake. It was their last year in college and this causes a gap between the SSG. They had a fight and now four friends go on to lead their lives separately. Saad is confused between choosing army or medical as his profession. Mother suggested taking both tests and decide afterwards. Saad has come for morning walk with Zoro. Zoro found Dawa and started frightening her. Saad came to take Zoro and Dawa told him that he did all this intentionally. Saad was scolding his pet Zoro and Dawa softens up when she overhears him. They got a chance to get to know each other and their goals. Dawa wanted to be a doctor and Saad wanted to be an army officer. While departing Saad for PMA Pakistan Military Academy, Saad's father felt proud and asked him to remain honest and energetic throughout the journey. And Saad realizes on his very first day that it is not as easy as it seems. For freshers, they must trim their hair and remain clean, shaved, whether they like it or not. Saad meets Gulzar and develops a good friendship with him. As they were roommates, they learned to remain quiet in their personal space as well, otherwise they will be punished if their voice comes out of room. The academic curriculum was intense, requiring them to wake up early in the morning and follow their coach. On the other hand, Dow was enrolled in a medical institute. Saad surprised his mother as he got few days off from training institute. Mother was happy to see him as a grown-up, sensible and mature boy. Saad met with Dawa in the same park. They talked about their tough studies and training. They promised to call each other when they get time. Saad called from PSO as they are not allowed to have a mobile. Dawa pretends to be talking to her mother as she can't disclose her newly found relationship in front of roommates. The instructors were tough, demanding excellence in every aspect of his training. Saad realized that his dream wouldn't come easy. The days were long, starting before the sunrise. The academic curriculum was intense, requiring them to absorb a vast amount of information ranging from military strategy to advanced weaponry. Saad found friendship among his fellow cadets. The bonds forged in the crucible of training were unbreakable, and they became his second family. One of the toughest experiences was the simulated combat exercises. The cadets were pushed into realistic scenarios, requiring them to make split-second decisions. Saad, though exhausted, learned to think on his feet and led his team with accuracy and quickness. His body became a well-tuned machine. The once daunting challenges became stepping stones and he approached each obstacle with a determination that inspired those around him. Saad called Dawa and wanted to see her as it has been long time they have hardly met. 
Dower agreed and planned to meet in a same park. Saad's sister overheard conversation and told Saad that parents were talking about his marriage to one of their friend's daughter. Saad went to mother's office and wanted to know the truth. Mother cleared Saad's misunderstanding and confirmed that they would never plan anything without his consent. Now he should only focus on his goal and afterwards they will fix his wedding with whom he wants. In their next meeting, Saad and Dawa are confronted by Rahil. Dawa asked him to stay away from her personal life. She walks off angrily and goes home. Dawa parents wanted to marry Dawa to Rahil. She refuses as she never thought of Rahil in that way. She asked father to trust her that Saad is just a friend. Dawa tells Saad whatever happens in her home, and she won't contact him until they both establish their careers. Saad was mature enough to understand Dawa's situation. Time FLIs and after a year, Saad passes out of PMA with a sword of honor. His parents were so proud of him. Saad's mother called Dawa and invited her to dinner on Saad's successful completion of training. Dawa apologized as she is having her final exams, but she promised that after getting free from studies, they will have a meet up. Gulzar is poor and belongs to a rural area, but his hard work, sacrifice and dedication pays off as he passed. PMA with gold medal. Gulzar's parents were proud as he was the only one from the village to get such a big achievement. On the way home, Jua's parents meet with a major accident. Dao was heartbroken after knowing that her father passed away and her mother becomes disabled. Dower and her mother decided to move to Abbottabad to live near her medical college. They took this decision as mother needs Dower now. Saad called Dower and got to know about the losses. She is facing all alone. Saad came to meet them and offer any help they needed. Dower's mother was relived to meet Saad as she was worried for Dower after her father's death. Saad made tea for Dower, the one that he learned to make during his tough training. He didn't make big promises, but he assured her that she lives in his heart till his last breath. Saad feels secure after achieving his milestones. He met with Sharia and was eager to know about his life. Sharia told Saad about his struggles as his father was a bandmaster. Sometimes he has to perform with him. He goes to the academy in the evening to prepare for CSS exams. After years of hard work and consistency, he finally achieved his dream job. He is appointed as an assistant commissioner. His parents were proud of him, and their happiness was worth every pain he faced. Sharik belongs to poor family, thus he started his career from YouTube and currently he got a job as news anchor at a well-established channel. Shahzain wins his elections and becomes an MNA. Saad felt bad as he didn't remain in touch with any of his friends, and he deeply wanted a reunion. All friends surprised Saad before his nikah with Dawa. They were present in Saad's nikah ceremony and teased him like they used to do in college. Dawa walks down the aisle in her uniform, leaving Saad in awe. It is revealed that Dawa has been appointed as an army doctor. Saad was delighted to see his wife as ambitious as him. A few days later, Saad and Dawa started going to work. A power couple isn't defined by individual successes, but by the collective strength that emerges when two ambitious hearts join forces in both work and love. Saad is appointed in LOC Kashmir. Dawa informs him that she is pregnant and she will wait for him. Saad is given an operation to retrieve an injured soldier from the battleground. He is eventually shot in process, but manages to complete his mission. He is then taken to the hospital, where he recovers. He was praised for his work, although it was a tough, but he did it perfectly. At the end, all friends visit their college and advise the students on how to serve the country through various fields of opportunities. Moral. The more you focus on your work, the less time you have for drama. Choose your priorities wisely. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like and share the video.